Um, day one, I've spent looking after, looking into the management team. I got straight in front of the people uh, who work here, told them what I'm about, told them what my tasks was involved, worked to the late hours of evening. Uh, so I like to think I've hit the ground running. Day two, I was straight onto the telephone to the One Voice people to talk about the issues that they've been raising with the, the, the dogs and the horses uh, and all to do with the zoning, etc. I'm also to, uh, you know, talking to other people, ranging from the tourists to, uh, to the, the ramblers. Now, I haven't got around them yet, but I want to go and sort of see those kind of people. So it's really I'm getting out there as much as I possibly can to, to actually try and, try and find a way of listening to what their views are. I'm a dog owner, my daughter's got a horse, I'm a local. Um, the verderers and the commoners have done a great job for the last 900 years, they'll do a great job for the next 900 years, and the New Forest Park is going to be there to actually lead that way because we've got some major issues in terms of climate change. Our people are focused to making the forest a better place. We're going to have the expertise, because if climate change does hit us, like Hillary Benn said, it's going to be a four degree C rise, you're going to have changes in the fungi, changes in the soil, changes in the beetles. Change, the whole forest is going to change. The floodplains are going to change. We, we've got to put a plan in, and currently um, it's, it's destined for October. We're going, to, we're going to see if we can actually get this plan out as soon as possible, but we're not going to do it to the detriment of it not being a good job. So if I can implement an ongoing process and talking to people and still try and hit a lot of the targets we're, we're going to get, but there's no guarantees at this stage. I need more time to, to take stock.